everything. All right, guys, so we've talked about how to add something to the end of the array, how to remove something from the end of the array, and we've talked about how to add something to the beginning of the array and how to remove something from the beginning of the array. So now what we're going to talk about is how to add and remove stuff from the middle of an array. And so to do that, we have to use the splice method, and we're going to get started with that. All right, guys, so we're going to talk about how to add stuff to an array in the middle of the array and delete things from the array. So first thing to keep in mind is you may under you may know that delete delete uh, and then call out the array at let's just say this two the one index spot at two. So this will actually delete the two, but it also leave undefined. So now our output right here will just have an empty space. Now that's okay if that's what you're looking to do. In my experience. That's typically not what I'm looking to do. So just to, to clear that up, we're going to have one undefined. And then we're going to have our three, four, five, and six. So that's what our, our array would look like at that point. So let's just go ahead and address that. But now let's, go, let's get back into splice real quick. So splice has three parameters that can be called. Only two are required. The first one is the index in which you want to start at. And the second one is how many variable or how many how many inputs in the array you want to delete so in this first one let's say we don't actually want to delete anything but we want to add a, a we want to add at that spot a new number for instance so all we would have to do for that is say array and we'll say we'll want to add it at this two spot array dot splice we'll say at the index one spot so again this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at index 1 spot, we want to add after that. So 0 means we're not going to delete anything, because this is where you define how many numbers you're going to delete. We want to add the number 200. So now we're going to have 1, 1, 2, excuse me, 1, 2, 200. Etc. And then you know three, four, five, six. So let's actually say that we want to go ahead and delete that number. It would be as easy as just doing we we uh, we'll we'll delete two numbers in this case. So we'll delete one and two, but we're not going to replace anything as well. So now our array would have the numbers one, four, five, and six, and their their respective indices would be zero, one, two, and three. So do keep in mind that you can also add multiple numbers as well. So let's go ahead and showcase that real quick. So in this case, we'll have uh, we'll array dot splice again dot splice, and we'll go ahead and just we'll delete two two things and we'll add two things. So we'll say starting at two or one index, we want to delete two and three. So we're going to delete two items and then we're going to go ahead and put in the numbers 11 comma 12. So there are two required parameters here and then from here on our third parameter is optional and the way we separate this is simply by putting a comma in our third parameter here and this will let us know that we're looking to add multiple items. So in this case we're going to go ahead and delete two and three, and our output would be one, 11, 12, four, five, six. Do keep in mind that you don't have to delete and add evenly. So if we wanted to change this right here to only delete one number, so we'll go ahead and delete just the two, our, our output would be one, 11, 12, three, four, five, and six. So that's how splice works and a little bit of insight about delete and you'll have to decide what works best for you and what you'll need to do in the future. So I hope that helps clear it up and I hope that also helps you figure out what you need to do when talking about push, pop, switch, unswitch, splice and delete. So as always guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.